we have often heard that a certain pregnant woman has had high bp what is this condition what are the effects of this let us see in today's video hi friends i am dr karamat this is scientific doctor channel in this channel health related explanations are provided via short and simple videos which are released every week if you want to see such videos kindly subscribe to this channel also press the bell icon to get instant notifications whenever new content is released in this channel today's video is about pregnancy induced hypertension or preeclampsia this is a condition where there is increased blood pressure which is noted after 20 weeks of pregnancy associated with increased urine albumin excretion albumin is a natural protein which is present and if there is a increased urine albumin excretion along with elevated bp so what is the cause for this preeclampsia or pregnancy induced hypertension probably this is related to the hormones but the exact cause is not known but what is known is who are all at high risk of getting this disease who are all at high risk no any individual who has had multiple pregnancies any individual who had previous history of preeclampsia in the previous pregnancy anybody with a family history of preeclampsia anybody who is underaged less than 17 years and getting pregnant or who is slightly overage like more than 35 years and getting pregnant and those who are obese those who are diabetic those who had pre-existing high bp hypertension they are also at risk of getting this preeclampsia their bp will go higher after 20 weeks so all these people are at high risk of getting preeclampsia what are the symptoms of this disease mild or many individuals may not have any overt symptoms at all now some people can have you no know, fluid accumulation they can have edema of the face edema of the fingers edema of the feet you no know, they may have their tightening of their finger rings so these symptoms can be there many people may not have symptoms this is usually picked up during routine examination of pregnant women that is why routine and regular follow-up of pregnant women is a must if there are complications you no know, developing to the mother because of preeclampsia there can be problems related to every organ system in the body to the brain there can be confusion to the liver to the lungs so to the kidneys there can be reduced urine output so every organ system can be involved and especially there is a syndrome called help h-e-l-l-p associated with this preeclampsia where there is hemolysis there is destruction of red blood cells elevated liver enzymes indicating a damage to the liver and low platelets causing spontaneous bleeding resulting in skin bleeds and rashes so all these symptoms can be present and if left untreated this can result in even in stroke or death more commonly in seizures this condition where preeclampsia leads to seizures is called eclampsia which can happen during delivery before that is during conception or even after delivery so this is a dangerous disease how do you diagnose no during routine follow-up your bp is measured if it is high it is repeated if two measurements are high your urine is checked for albumin excretion and if your albumin is also high a diagnosis is made there are other criteria there are other factors which also need to be assessed so your doctor will be able to make a diagnosis of preeclampsia how is it treated obviously most of the times initial diagnosis of preeclampsia you may need to get hospitalized both for assessing your problems as well as baby's problems because not only the mother is going to get affected the baby can also be affected the blood supply through the placenta may get affected this may result in poor growth of the baby okay the baby size is going to be small no it is not only the general growth even the brain growth may be affected may lead to permanent neurological damage in the unborn child so once the child is born the child may have permanent neurological sequelae and even if the child is born it can result in preterm birth or other complications to the baby so all these can result to the baby also so once you are hospitalized your complications as well as baby's growth and complications are assessed you may need to be on bed rest 
you may need to be given antihypertensive medicines often no early delivery is no advised when a person has preeclampsia why because the pregnancy is the risk factor for preeclampsia and eclampsia delivery often relieves it okay once the baby is delivered the mother's bb comes back to normal usually within one week may sometimes take up to six weeks okay so delivery is advised so usually persons with preeclampsia or pregnancy induced hypertension mothers with pregnancy induced hypertension are not allowed to go to full term once 37 weeks are completed they are usually advised delivery early delivery is advised even once you are completed 34 weeks if this there is severe preeclampsia then also delivery is advised but if the fetus if the unborn child is compromised if neurological problem is going to happen even before that even preterm delivery can be attempted and if the mother has obviously eclampsia or help syndrome or other complications then also delivery may be attempted to save the mother so early delivery is often a part of treatment for preeclampsia so whenever a doctor you no know, advises early delivery on account of preeclampsia this has to be followed because this will result in you no know, safety to both the mother as well as to the unborn child you no know, we may not think that the fetus is inside we will allow the fetus to grow because inside with preeclampsia the fetus may not grow may result in even worse outcomes later on and additionally magnesium sulfate a drug to prevent seizures as i said seizure or eclampsia is a complication so to prevent that magnesium sulfate might be given and if the baby is to be delivered as a preterm child then to improve the lung maturity for the preterm child mother may be given steroids to accelerate this lung maturity so all these might be given as treatment to women or mother with preeclampsia if you have a mild no pregnancy induced hypertension then after initial hospitalization you might be discharged with advice for reducing stress advice for rest and to continue these antihypertensive medication but even after that we need to be on close follow up both for development of complications in the mother as well as the growth and development of complications in the fetus because if this is left untreated it can result in dangerous consequences to both so that's why frequent follow-up of mother okay even if the mother is healthy during pregnancy even if the mother initially had normal blood pressure frequent and regular follow-up of antenatal that is pregnant mothers is of vital importance even following delivery they need to be followed up at least for six weeks because this blood pressure may not come down usually it comes down within first week of delivery may not come down till six weeks for some of the individuals so you need to watch out and be on regular follow-up even for postnatal that is once the delivery is over and the stress of delivery itself might be a risk factor for eclampsia so early delivery and shortening the delivery duration itself is advised so often these individuals might have to undergo cesarean section very rarely you now if the delivery is anticipated and it is going to happen in a shorter delivery time you may allow for normal delivery but often there is an increased incidence of cesarean section in individuals with pregnancy induced hypertension what about salt intake now often we hear that reducing salt intake is advised for anybody with hypertension here the mechanisms are slightly different the benefit is not very linear in scientific studies so if your doctor if your obstetrician has advised for reducing salt intake kindly do that but don't think that just by reducing salt intake you are going to take care of this increased blood pressure and a follow-up is not essential so follow your doctor's advice and kindly undergo regular follow-up for anybody with increased bp during pregnancy hope this video was useful if you found this video useful kindly share it among your friends and relatives if you want to see such videos subscribe to this channel till we meet again bye